uh, segments of top movers and shakers. Hormaz, a day on the green side once again. It always, it's become a re regular occurrence now, as it did the day on the green side. We got used to saying this. The market is steaming ahead, but what is also steaming ahead are railway stocks and there is no stopping them whatsoever. And the moment you hear of railway stocks, the first stock that comes to mind is IRFC. It's now up 5x from its IPO price of 26 rupees. It was another record high today. Ircon, RVNL, Railtel, IRCTC, you name them and they were up. All of them did well today. Fantastic session yet again for the railway stocks. But what was also in the pink of health today was five Pharma, along with IT, the pharma stocks also did very well today. And Glenmark, Aurobindo, Olympic Pharma was up almost 8%. Biocon and Glenmark Life did well. You spoke about PSUs briefly. PSUs continue to move higher. Just like the market, the PSUs has become a regular occurrence as well. SJVN, another record high today. BHEL continues to remain around that 200 rupee mark after that 15,000 crore order win from NLC. Oil India, NHPC and REC were some of the others that did well today. But the standout PSU though is ONGC. The stock has been up almost 10% over the last two sessions. It is trading at the highest level since March of 2015. So it's a nine, almost a nine-year high for ONGC. But what is slowly catching up is LIC and that stock is now very close to its listing day price of 867. But what is also key to note is that LIC is nearing State Bank of India in terms of its market cap. With State Bank of India close to that around quarter to six lakh crores in market cap, LIC is nearing five and a half lakh crore. What also did well today was Paytm and the December quarter shareholding data showed that mutual funds now own 5% stake in Paytm, the most that they have ever owned since listing, around 3% higher there on Paytm. And lastly, Dixon Tech, a stock that did not do well today, Goldman Sachs downgraded the stock to a sell and it cited three major reasons for it and they are projecting a downside of around 17% on Dixon Technologies. Back to Thank you, you Hormas, for joining and always on the ball with all those stocks that are moving around. Well